Frankenstein, Episode Seven. Scientist Victor Frankenstein is to build a bride for the creature. Hello, I'm scientist Victor Frankenstein. You've been listening to the story the creature told me long ago, before I had to come after it, and arrived here, in the Arctic. The monster I built. I used to care about my science more than anything, and I thought I could control nature. I've paid a high price for that. The creature. Murdered my young brother, and his nanny was executed for the crime. During that conversation years ago, the monster told me he would go away and harm nobody else if I built him a bride. <coughs> Should I do it? He wanted to have his answer when we sat by the fire in his hut in the mountains. So, what do you say? If you give me a bride, you'll never see or hear from me again. All right, I'll do it. Will you? That's great. Go home and start working. I'll watch. Your progress, and when my bride is ready to come to life, I'll be there. For some reason, I didn't want to start my work. I didn't want to do it in my father's house in Geneva, for sure. I didn't want him to find out about the monster. I was worried, <laughs> and adding to that, the monster had warned me he would watch me at a distance. My love, Elizabeth, noticed I wasn't happy. You've been so quiet lately. We used to talk a lot. What's happening? Don't you like me anymore? Don't be silly. Of course I like you. I, I, I'll even keep the promise I made to my mother before she died, who was very fond of you. How about marriage? Will you marry me? Marriage, Mr. Frankenstein? Did you hear what your son Victor has just said? He asked me to marry him. That's fantastic news. My late wife and I. Used to watch you both playing together as children. We thought you were made for each other. You'll make a wonderful couple. Indeed, father. But first, well, I need to spend some time in England. England, my son? Yes, father.、Uh, there are some new scientific discoveries there, which I must see for myself. And well, this. Could be my last chance to travel and see the world before I settle down. We can have our wedding as soon as I come back, my dear Elizabeth. Um, we understand, son. But well, you will need a good friend to take care of you, won't you? I'll ask Henry, your best friend, to go with you. Henry. Yes, that's a great idea. Henry loves travelling and will surely agree to go. My plan was to go to England, and build a bride for the creature. How could I keep my work a secret from Henry? We used to have fun travelling together, but this time it was different. We stopped in many cities, and when we reached Edinburgh, I had to leave him behind. <laughs> That's a great restaurant, don't you think so? 
Yes, I suppose so. What's going on with you, Victor? I'm not used to seeing you this sad. What's the problem? I think I, I need some time alone to think. To think? Yes. I need to think about my life. Let's make a deal. I'll go away for a month or two on my own. And when I'm back, everything will be what it used to be. We'll have a lot of fun together, I promise. OK. I'll be waiting for you. Well, I promised Henry a good time and the creature a bride. I started collecting material and rented a hut far away in the Orkney Islands. But I had mixed feelings. It had been three years since I built the creature and what a big mistake that was. What if the monsters didn't like each other? And if the female creature started killing people too? And, and if, if they had babies, and there were hundreds of monsters, I, I, I couldn't allow this to happen. It was too dangerous. <coughs> I hadn't finished the work yet, but I couldn't give life to another monster. So I just destroyed it. It was over. <laughs> no more bride. But what about the creature? Was I going to pay a heavy price for destroying the female monster? The friend the monster was expecting to be happy with? I'll tell you next time.